Simon's parole has reignited questions about the other 21 cases, which until today remain unsolved. He was only found guilty of the kidnapping and murder of 10-year-old Alroy van Rooyen. Experienced detectives like the former station commander of Mitchell's Plain and former head of detectives in the province believe there were many other factors at play in Simon's arrest and subsequent conviction back in 1995. The removal of the initial investigator, Don Engelbrecht, his replacement by the then murder and robbery unit and the political climate at the time on the eve of the first democratic elections among them. Norman was arrested on the 13th of April, okay, 1994. On the 26th, we had our first election. Our premier in the Western Cape was who? Ernest Krill, ex-minister of police. So there's a set of political circumstances, I believe, that influenced the case being taken away from Don and Mitchell's plain detectives, and secondly, being allocated to white police officers. And thirdly, white police officers, I believe, who had a, who, who, who for whom it would not be easy to shed their, their allegiance to the previous minister of law and order, who was Ernest Krill, who is now the premier in the Western Cape, who wanted insight into these matters, even though he's no more the minister. Like the families and community members who are insisting that the cold cases are investigated, Vieri, who has studied each case docket, says the advancement in forensics and other areas must be put to use to solve the remaining cases. We are sitting with a lot of evidence that is still in stores, prints or other forms of trace evidence that needs to be subjected to new analysis. We, for example, it's Post-mortem techniques have become much more sophisticated compared to before. You can take an old post-mortem report and you can re-look at it and test it against systems and find like we did with the Imam Aron inquest in that, that, that I also assigned an investigator to. We were able to unearth new evidence. So what I'm saying is, it is going back to the drawing board, go take those old dusty documents and go dust off those old jars of evidence or wherever they are in what form of those packages. Rework them and retest them through technology. Then at least we can say we made an effort. Western K Police have since confirmed that its cold case unit will be taking over the investigations. The cases were dealt with by investigative psychology unit, so they, there was assistance from Pretoria, but I've made arrangements that they will be taken over by the cold case in conjunction with SEKI, which is a serial and electronic crime investigation, which deals with the investigation of the serial rapist and the serial killers. Simons is expected to be placed in the Paro area upon his release on parole, which will see him under 24-hour house arrest. He will not be allowed contact with children and will not be allowed to speak to the media. Before the end of this week, the direct will be will be delivered. I've already made those arrangements. Mm. So because the, there are changes in laws and there is also uh, evolution in investigation techniques. So because these are very old matters, so we hope that we can do something. A community dialogue on Simon's parole will be hosted by the Department of Correctional Services at the Paro Civic Centre this evening. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.